A lot of people were asking, what can I do with the electroculture? How do I do this? And how do I get the harnessing of the earth? And here you go. Perfect example. You could take a little piece of wood. You could wrap some copper right around there, place that right into the dirt. And that will work like an antenna that will gather ether, which is the energy that's all around us that Nikola Tesla, Wilhelm Reich, Victor Schauberger, and all these people talked about. And that energy will then come down into the dirt. It will magnetize the dirt. So the dirt will become stronger. And this is a, this is a, uh, a, a plant that's just put on the balcony. So this is nothing even in the earth. This is just on the balcony, but you can do this with your plants on the earth as well too, and it will enhance the magnetism. Basically what happens is, is our soil starts to get dried out because the magnetism of the soil, it starts to deplete and it pretty much becomes dead. There's no more life force or ether inside that soil. So we need to reestablish that and harness that and bring that back. And this is a simple technique you can use. We put up more techniques on our website, cultivateelevate.com, um, but you can take your gardening to a whole nother level and grow more food very, very simply without doing much of anything. You don't need pesticides, pesticides, you don't need fertilizers, you don't need chemicals, you don't need sprays produced by Monsanto and DuPont and all these chemical companies that are trying to patent nature just a little bit of wood, a little bit of copper, or even use a little bit of brass because the copper zinc ratio in there is a little bit better and that can even yield even more. Wish you guys all a happy day. So a lot of people have been asking me about before and afters of electroculture. Does it work? Is it placebo? Is the copper doing anything? This is a before and after video showing the difference of Elisa's garden on TikTok. Her handle is gardening521 and you can look her up. But this is her garden before electroculture in 2020. She was just using compost and fertilizer, which is the traditional way. And it looks like she was yielding a ton of food in her backyard. We can all have abundance. That's the magic of just growing our own food. We don't have to be dependent on the toxic chemicals in which they try to supply us with. So let's look at the after. So this is the after of electroculture, implementing copper and wood antennas in the garden to amplify the earth's energy, the magnetism and the life force of the sap, the plant's blood. What's happening is, is she's increasing the magnetism and the earth's energy in that area, creating a vortex so that the plants can grow larger, get bigger and also receive more nutrients, right? When the plant is at its most optimal level, it will grow and just keep growing. We could probably grow plants almost 50 feet high, but the pesticide companies load their pesticides with tons of iron, which diminishes the life force of our planet and our foods so that we are dependent on the grocery store. If you want to learn more about electroculture, you could check out our blogs, Electroculture for Beginners at CultivateElevate.com, but also check out Elisa's TikTok at Gardening521. So today we're talking about electroculture again with part two with Gardening 521, which is Elisa's garden. Her video went wild the other day and here's her antennas and here's her garden. And here's the abundance in which we can all have. Her backyard is like a jungle of just food and she's in Washington state. Look at this, it's beautiful. This is what we all can have. And that's the magic. We do not need pesticides. We do not need chemicals. We do not need Monsanto. We do not need Agent Orange or DDT is good for me or any of these toxin things placed into our soil. We just need to preserve the life force, the energy, the magnetism, the chi, the prana, the beautiful essence of life and our planet. And that's where electroculture can come in to help reestablish that. You're using copper, which is great for the soil, great for the plants and helps yield more food. When you place iron into the soil, you're diminishing the magnetism, the life force, the energy, all of that. Look at the average pesticide. It contains almost four different types of iron. Look at the average tool in Home Depot and Lowe's. It contains iron. Why are they putting iron in everything? Because iron is diminishing our soil and diminishing our planet. That's what it comes down to. And if we start bringing and if we start going back to using copper like Justin Cristo Flo, like Victor Schauberger, like George Lakofsky, you can look all these people up. They researched all of this stuff. They healed plants with copper. If we start going back to that, we can all have an abundance and there will be no food shortages on this planet. So I wanna hop on here today and show the difference of my friend using electroculture in her garden. This is a two week difference, right? Two weeks. So this plant was not using electroculture, so no copper whatsoever. This tomato plant was using electroculture and used copper and look at the difference. This is a two week difference. So electroculture has been hidden from our society. Reason being because of pesticide companies and all of these chemical companies, they want you to spray chemicals all over your crops and all different types of fertilizers and things that are very, very toxic to us. But with using electroculture, we can harness the earth's energy and actually make our crops grow faster. 
Now, this was presented back in the day when Victor Schauberger in the 1930s and 40s presented this to the EU Council, and they shot it down because they told the farmers that if they started using copper and copper plows and copper tools and all of these things that can yield them more food, they said that the prices of, of the crops would not be as high and they would not be able to sell them and make as much money. So they had a whole kibosh and pushed iron tools, which actually destroy the earth's magnetism and destroy your yields and dry out the soil. And instead of pushing copper, they pushed iron so that they could continue the profits. And a lot of this information was forgotten, but here's a perfect example of a 14 day difference utilizing no copper and copper and how you can grow your plants faster. Hey Matt, it's Claire from Ireland. I'm a huge fan of your channel and I'm really excited to share with you today the results I've had using the electroculture. So I incorporated a total of three copper antennas into my vegetable bed here. This is actually a copper pipe. And I planted my garlic as I do every year. Now in Ireland it takes between five to six weeks for the garlic to sprout and today we're on day 15 and look at the growth. This is absolutely phenomenal. The plants look so vibrant and so healthy too. Now at the same time I did plant another bed of garlic far enough away so it didn't benefit from the copper. And I'll show you now, but there's absolutely no signs of life. There's no garlic sprouting up over the soil. Now, this is what I would expect at this time of year. I wouldn't generally expect to see any signs of new life, any sprouting until mid-December. So the copper is definitely working its magic. I'm really excited to be part of the journey and I'm looking forward to keeping you updated. Thanks for everything, Matt. Take care. A lot of people were asking, what can I do with the electroculture?